I've been thinking about oracles recently. GMs often use them. I like to use them. Solo players will use them. You ask a question of the world, you can roll an oracular die or use some other kind of oracular method and you get an answer. For example, one that Dragonbane used, simple D6 at the positive end of the spectrum was a yes and or an emphatic yes. At the lower end of the spectrum, the bottom, an emphatic no. And some versions of kind of, sort of, with shaded positively or negatively in the middle. But something that's just occurred to me recently is asking the question, well, what if the uh, oracle or an oracle were player facing? What if the players could ask a question of the world and use some kind of oracular die to determine, in the absence, of course, of established fiction, what's there or not? Now, at first glance, this doesn't really seem similar than what we do already. You come to a pond, players' characters come to a pond, they ask, hey, are there fish in this pond? We, as the GM, say, I don't know if there's fish in the pond. Let's roll the oracle and find out. The difference in what I'm thinking of, and this is obviously untested, untried, would be to let a party member roll that die. It'd be more of an open roll. So that would be one thing. The second thing would be is that if they had some kind of applicable skill or talent that could shade the role in their favor. By allowing the character, the player, to shade the oracle in the direction of something that their player or their character might have a talent for, I think might encourage players to kind of dig into their character, traits, talents, skills, whatever. Now, this doesn't stop somebody else from asking, but if you're an expert fisherman, let's say, then you examining the lake is more likely to bring a positive result than the party carpenter who knows nothing and cares nothing for fish. I don't know whether it ultimately be a good idea or not, but it's one that I'm thinking of playing around with just to give an idea of what the mechanics would look like. If we go back to kind of a dragon bane type example, we're using a six-sided die and five or six are essentially positive, three, four, essentially neutral, and one to two, essentially negative. Maybe if someone says, hey, I'm a skilled fisherman, that would give them essentially an advantage type roll. Instead of rolling 1d6, they could roll 2d6, take the best roll. I haven't looked at any dice. I haven't checked out how that changes the odds, but that would essentially would be my idea. Now, you could say, well, Todd, what if many reasons exist why there probably aren't any fish there? but maybe there's a smaller chance. So we want to allow an oracle per se, but we want to be able to tune it a little bit to be more negative. We don't want the person who's an expert fisherman to be able to find fish in the Dead Sea, even though there might be a few fish there, chances are they're not gonna find them. I think we can do something very similar. So if we can give a player advantage, let's say, for having an appropriate skill, talent, knack, etc. We can apply disadvantage, something similar for circumstances that would hinder or would shade positive oracular result. And we can also give more advantage if we want to showcase a positive idea. You're in some kind of wonderland, heightened nature, fey area, and you want to show that if someone looks for fish, not only is there a prob probability of being fish, but probably an abundant probability, you can have them roll more dice, take the best. If they find some little pond in the middle of the desert, you could say that has some kind of resistance to such things. So we're going to require extra disadvantages. And then the party could try to figure out how to even the odds or just live with the fact that they might get a negative oracular result. Again. I haven't tried it. It's just all in the, in, in the brain percolating around. But I thought it was an interesting concept. Would you ever want to put a player-facing kind of oracular capability mechanism, mechanic, in front of your players? And if so, what might it look like for you? This is how it might look for me. 
but you know, it'll probably change 50 times before I ever get it to a table. But that's what I thought is thought it was interesting. Thought I would share. That's all I got for now. Game on. Talk to you later.